Entering the ESPN Sports Science Lab are two of the top receivers in the draft. West Virginia's Kevin White and Alabama's Amari Cooper. At 6'3", with a 38 and a half inch max bird, White has a catchable range about eight and a half percent larger than Cooper's. In fact, White's range is less than 1% smaller than Rob Gronkowski's, despite Gronk being three inches taller. While White is a slightly bigger target, in our lab, Cooper was slightly faster. White was credited with a faster 40 at the NFL Combine, but those numbers are calculated using hand-timed starts. In our testing, we use an infrared timing system to start and stop the clock. Although White is quicker for the first 10 yards, Cooper hits a top speed more than half a mile per hour faster and winds up with the best time of any receiver we tested in this draft. While they're different types of receivers, both showed off their playmaking ability in a test we call the Yak Attack. As they cut, the first heavy bag barrels in at 10 miles per hour. Making the catch, White turns on a dime, hitting a peak angular velocity of 452 degrees per second. Cooper, on the other hand, displays a nasty juke in just four tenths of a second. One of the fastest we've ever measured in the lab. In all, both receivers haul in nine out of 10 passes. After putting him through our position specific tests, we believe Kevin White compares favorably to the Falcons Julio Jones. And we put Amari Cooper in the same class as the Steelers Antonio Brown. When you add White and Cooper's stats from last season together, they racked up more receiving yards and receiving touchdowns than 62% of the teams in the FBS. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.